Welcome guys to Challenge Lab of Module 8. In this lab, we are going to create an IAM group and IAM users, and we will test a few policies and permission to control which user can access which resources um, in the cafe environment. So uh, let's start by going to the first task. In the first task, we are going to create an IAM group. So let us go to the IAM. And from the IAM, we need to create an app, app developer group. So we go to user group, create a group, and the IAM developer is going to be the name. Now make sure to select those policies. There is many ways how you can attach a policy to a group, but you can just search for them here. Select, then clear the filter, then come back again, copy the next policy that you want to attach, search for it and select it and then create the group the next thing is to create a user and in this case we are going to add a user called nickel and this user is going to be uh, the name of the user nickel and he will be in that group that we just create make sure to copy the right password so i will use a text editor to save these password information because later on we need to sign in with each user. So that's the password we need for nickel. And now let's put custom password, show password just to verify. Deselect a reset of the password, add it to the app dev group review and create user. Now we are logged in as logged in as Vocarium Lab user, which is Sophia in our case, in our lab scenario. So we need to go to cloud nine and the cloud nine we need just to prepare the dev server for the cafe so in step number eight we need to download a script and that script basically will be used to install the cafe application in our cloud nine so i am here in the environment so i will put wget which install this uh, script as you can see it's here now the next command is ch mode and that ch mode is going to give the execute permission to that script and then we need to run the script install cafe app you don't need to wait for this so you can carry on and basically uh, uh, proceed to the next step where we need to share this with nikki and we send invitation Press OK and done. And now let us move to task number two. We need to open a new um, Igneto window. And from that Igneto window, we need to sign in as Nikki. So you go back to your IM to get the console login for Nickel. And here we can see the Nickel user security credentials, console login, copy. You could also save it in the text editor that you have now let's go to the private session and paste and we need now to put the password and the username for nickel and we need to copy the password and the password is as we can see it's here you could see i'm, I'm just saving my time uh, when i save those now we need to go now into the IAM console in the Amazon EC2. So we go to the EC2 and we just want to see if this nickel is able to view the dev server. So we're going to go and select the dev server, copy the public IP, open a new tab, paste it. Uh, we need to just put slash cafe, don't forget that guys. And we want to make sure that the cafe website is viewable. As you can see, the menu and the order history are not operation, operatable by now because there's no permission for Nickel to view the RDS. So we want to reboot our dev from Nickel and this is going to be instant setting, instant state, and reboot. Now this should give us an error. If you remember what we did, we give the nickel is the EC2 read only permission. So he's not able 
to access or to reboot or to stop an EC2 instance. Now we need to go from this user Nickel uh, for Cloud9. And we need to test that we have access to the Cloud9. And we just want to edit um, a line of code inside the www.html folder. There is an index.php file we need to open inside the cafe. So don't mix between the PHP file and the HTML file. Line 13, guys, just select it and paste the new update. And then from file menu, click on save. And then we need to proceed to the cafe and we update the website. So the cafe now should display a cafe dev site. Again, the menu is still not working, and this is what we need to test in step number 18. Now, in step number 20, we need to go to the system manager, and we test that we have permission to view the system manager, and we update the parameter store. Well, why do we need to update the parameter store? Because as you can see here, Nickel is not able to view the RDS, so it seems to be there is a parameter we need to update in the system manager, and we don't have update or the ability to update the system manager uh, to update the parameter store. So in task number three, we want to configure an IAM for a database administrator for uh, user access. So we need to go back into Sophia. So we go from this private window to Vocarium Lab user. Guys, don't mix between this and Nickel here. You can verify which user you are using to sign in from the top right corner so we are going to go and create a db administrators a group in this db administrator group we need two permission we need amazon rds read only because we need to read the rds and we need as well an full access to amazon system manager so we need to add this permission here to basically be able to update the system manager then we need to add an, a user for olivia uh, for olive yeah and this is going to be a password with the custom password that we have here so let me uh, just uh, make a note of this username and password so if i need in the future to access them I will don't need to scroll all the way up in the lab. So this is the password that we need for Olivia. There's going to be a custom password. Let's put show password and no need to require permission. And we add it to the DB administrator, review and create user. You could see now the console sign in for Olivia is here. You could copy it and update your script in the text editor close and then move to task number four in task number four guys we need to log in using olivia so we go to agnito window again paste the console url and from the console url we are going to put the username which is olivia and the password that we have for us here for olivia db administrator 2020 and sign now we want to test that we have access to rds from olivia so we go to rds and from rds we want to view the configuration of the rds specifically we want to test the username that we use so the database is available go to the configuration tab and copy and take a note of the master username for the db so this is going to be an RDS user and that RDS user is going to be admin and just carry on. We need to go to the EC2 in step number 28. In step number 28, we want to see that we have access to the instance, which basically we can't see because as you can see here, Olivia has only two permission in that group, which are Amazon RDS read only and Amazon uh, system manager. So we don't have access to the EC2. Uh, let's carry on now. And we want to return to the browser uh, from Sophia. 
and we give the group which is the DB administrator group we need to attach to it a permission to view the EC2 with read-only access just to see to enable uh, Olivia to check the running instances and also to check the current role in the instances so and that permission for I am read only access and then add permission you can see now Olivia or the group of DB administrator contains for permission view EC2 only uh, full access for system manager and also read RDS read only and I am read only policy because we want Olivia to be able to see the role which are attached to the EC2 go to the Olivia and refresh the page you could see now Olivia is able to see the dev server details the running instances from the console which means we are um, doing the right thing also it can view the cafe I am role here so the cafe I am role is obviously um, viewable from Olivia username so we go back now to Sophia and from Sophia we need to select the Olivia user so let's go to users Olivia and from Olivia we need to select access advisor and from the access advisor tool we just want to see which services basically accessing uh, Olivia at currently so the last access today was Amazon EC2 35 we need to go to the system manager and from the system manager we need to update the parameter store with the new username so that's the parameter store again parameter store and you can see we need to update the DB username edit and as you can see we take a note of that just previously that's going to be admin admin and then we need to save now if you go back to your EC2 and we need to get the IP address of the div server and we want to check that Olivia now or this cafe dev server has access to the DB and as you can see we can see the order history we can see the menu we can also place one order which means we can read write and view to the RDS in step 36 uh, we test the menu and now in task 4 we want to use IAM policy simulator to create a custom IAM policy with visual editor now just uh, a quick note about this guys this task or this step is just showing you the simulator but you won't be able to create a policy using it it's just only a practice for you so go back to users and we want to select Olivia and from Olivia we want to select the I am user and from the I user we want to select simulation of the policy or the policy simulator this will open a new tab so we want to select from that policy we want to select the ident identity and access management which is the IM guys and select all and run simulation this is will able to show you which uh, a specific action Olivia are allowed or not allowed to do uh, we need to return back to Sophia now so let's go back to Sophia and Sophia is basically is logged in ACT console that's Olivia let me go policy here so that's basically um, Sophia username and we need to go to the policies and from the policy we want to create a policy and here we need to select a service and we select EC2 and the action we want is basically for the IM and this describe instance profile 
association then we add an additional permission and we select list for the IM service we want to list all the action or we look for all action with list so we are going to select a few uh, uh, sorry not list here we need to do get and we need to select three policies which is get policy version so that's the get policy get role policy we need that get role and we need get policy as well then scroll down add additional and choose again the im and which action now the ec2 needs to list im action like list attached role policy list instance profile and then list instance profile for role profiles for role sorry and then list policies list role policies as well you can see it list role tag version and list role policies and then list roles and then expand the resources and for the resources we want to basically select any in this account for the instance profile and for the role and for the policy as well we can see the policy here so and then next review and you can review this policy by going as well to the json of that policy which is basically uh, going to be um, going to create policy there is another po policy similar to this created called limited item policy which allow us to have access to the role and in this step we are going to be basically to cancel the creation of the policy and then we edit the db administrator group so go back to user group admin db admin permission and then we attach the limited item the limited im policy sorry to this group so in step 48 we want to return to the browser as olivia now this is olivia now refresh the page you could also decide to sign out and sign in and we want to make sure that olivia now still can see the cafe role as before with no issues and you could also go back to sophia and test the im policy simulator for olivia and this is will be it for this lab thank you for seeing this video and see you in the next one